and salutations, and welcome to another episode of Shovel Knight! Yes, and in this episode, we're gonna be starting off real quick by going to the Triple Pond. Now, we heard about the Triple King before, if I remember right. This is our first time actually seeing him in his epic greatness with the apple's fishy... ...ness. Yeah. What do you got to say, Mr. Triple King? Who has awakened me, mortal? Dost thou need aid? Eh! Hey, yeah, sure. I sense a triple chalice. I can feel it with magical ichor. I have no idea. Oh, it's, it's pronounced ichor. You answered my question for me. Choose your ichor wisely. Ah, so we have several different ones to choose from. Uh, refills all health and magic, become invincible for ten seconds, and absorbs nearby treasure. All of those can be useful in, in their own situations, but I personally find the health and magic restore. I can't carry any more. Well, okay then. Triple King lives to serve. Bust thou not to be a str beast thou not a stranger. Have we been here before? What a uh... Hold up, let me go back to the title screen. I don't think we did the Triple King before, have we? No. Huh. Weird. Am I on the right plague? You hold on a second. Alright, I'm back. I just wanted to make sure I was on the right thing. I don't think we did that on camera, but. Whatever, normally you go to the Triple King, talk to him, he does dance, and it's all good and stuff. We'll, we'll just come back and do that later, I guess. Oh, wait, no! Hold up, hold up, hold up. There we go. That's what I want to do in the first place. What are you doing? What, what? The good reading skills, John. What do you think you're doing, mortal? And he gets all mad. But that's okay. Point is, we got a music sheet. That was weird. I don't know why I thought I'd already done that. Anyways. So. We did it. And that's, that's cool. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is go down here to the Forest of Phasing. In the last episode, or was it episode before? I don't remember. Yikes, spikes, if only I could phase away. Yeah, thank you. We got a specific item uh, called the Phase Locket, where we basically just become invisible for a second. Let's just go over spikes and stuff, and it's uh, it's pretty neat and all that. So I mean, that's good. How are you guys doing today? It's been a while since I recorded, so my uh my recording chops are not quite up to a uh, par at the moment. Now, something about this game is that there are a lot of uh, instances where you can easily no stupid Xbox controller where you can easily screw up and die uh, and actually the game kind of makes a point of putting you in those situations I like that as a matter of fact and we're mm -hmm. okay and we're back and I've lost a lot of money as you can probably tell because the Freaking Xbox controller sucks so much. Oh, I hate this controller. This is really, if you are going to play this game, and it is an amazing game, do not use the Xbox 360 controller, because it is awful. It is awful, and you will die so many times just because you're using this controller. I cannot stress that enough. Like, seriously, it's just bad. It's just really bad. Well then. That was my own fault. And we're back. Now let's see if I can get my friggin' money back. Uh, I died a l No, don't you do it. <laughs> I have died a lot in the first, like, three minutes of the episode. Okay, why am I just sitting here waiting around to get hit? That is a bad idea, John. You just keep e using... This is by far the most I've died in the LP so far. As I was saying, this is by far, oh my god. Okay, this is getting like ridiculous, like stupid ridiculous. Just give me my money, give me my money, and let me get off of this screen. <laughs> Please, oh dear lord. That was dumb. That was so dumb. Oh, dumb, 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 dumb. Dum. Oh, that was, okay. Just keep, keep phasing. Just keep phasing, just keep phasing. This is the most I've died the entire LP so far, and it's on a bonus stage. A bonus stage is just for money, by the way, which I lost way- Well, no, you do get a music sheet. I lost way more money here. Oh, God. Ugh. Huh. Any 
Anywho, let's continue on to the next level before I get any more stupid. God. Jeez. Iron Whale. Welcome to the Iron Whale. Hello, and I'm starting over completely. Hello, and salutations. Iron Whale. And um, I'm sorry. Oh, jeez. Like, okay, this game is difficult. I'm not even gonna try and pretend it's not. It's not as difficult as I was just making it. Like, it's legitimately, legitimately just not. It's definitely difficult. It has its moments. But whatever the crap just happened here, that was not just difficulty. That was dumb luck and bad playing. A mixture of both, really. No, don't you hit me. Ugh. I really meant this is kind of where, uh... Okay, get the friggin' phase lock it off so we don't waste any more magic. Uh, this is where, in my practice rounds, I started dying more often than not. Now, hopefully, though, since I have practiced each of these levels twice now, once in my fun playthrough and once in my practice, yeah, it should be okay, I just making sure you weren't something good. Hopefully, now that that's friggin' out of the way, I won't die every five seconds. No, 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 no. Since I have practiced this quite a bit, Nope, there we go. Okay, so this little bonus can actually be kind of hard, uh, just because you have to do it pretty much just right, like that. Uh, if you screw it up, you actually have to go off screen and come back on, but really, it's not that hard. That's, that's one of the things about this game that I have liked so much, is the slope of difficulty. Although, like, <clears throat> present example notwithstanding, uh, most of the time, like, once you do something once, you pretty much have it now. It's not just unbelievably difficult. It's very good. The game is very good at, at training you, if that makes any sense. Excuse me, my nose itches. Why is my nose itching? It's not the right time for nose itches. The game is very good about training you and all that. There are certain enemies that are harder than others. Uh, this one actually up top there being a prime example of one that's more difficult than he should be. Although, I actually took him out pretty easy that time. I've had a lot of difficulty with that, uh, that purple knight there. No, with the spikes. This, this is where it starts getting a little, uh, trappy, if that makes any sense. You gotta, you gotta pay attention, which is not the easiest thing to do when you're trying to record a, uh, video. So, do you expect death in copious amounts? Especially, like, with stuff like this, with the electric yield, because they knock you back. Now, there is something we can get later on, though, that actually limits... I thought it was gonna knock me in spikes that limits knockback a lot, I don't use it, or at least I did in my practice round. Not for any particular reason, I just didn't get the use out of it that I felt like I was supposed to, so I ended up choosing a, another bonus item that I felt was more useful for my particular playstyle. A lot of it does come down to how you play the game more than anything, and I, I do feel like this is one of those games where people are going to have different playstyles, if that makes any sense. Let's see what's down here. I believe this is actually a golden triple fish thing. Golden fish, whatever it is. A golden whale! Kind of like the golden ticket in Willy Wonka, except fishy. Yay. Uh, but generally speaking, the game so far has been an absolute pleasure. I won't spend too much time bragging on it because I know I did that for, like, the last three episodes. This is only my second recording session, although I will say there has been a whole lot of time between this and the first recording session. I got the first three episodes recorded, like, before Pokemon Yellow was done, I think. Uh, so, it being a solid minute, okay, I've died here so many times because of spikes. This is definitely one of the harder levels I've played so far. Uh, not that I've played anywhere near all the levels or anything, but it's depth, you, you dare. You done a dig dang thing. Stop with the dig dangs. No, 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 I don't want you in my life. Go away from my life space. You're invading my happiness. Nah, I thought there was something out there. Crap. Let's get these so I don't miss out on anything. One thing I have learned about the game is that it's very well timed. There's a lot of parts in it where you kind of have to react. Not instantly. The game is very good about teaching you about new mechanics and stuff like that before you, you come across them in a major, like, platforming area or something like that. Kind of like these, these squid tentacles are a good part of that. Although sneaking the, uh, the eely eels there is a little bit cheap, but whatever. I mean, it's not just unbelievably difficult, so I'm not going to complain about it too much. There's not a whole lot to complain about in this game, to be perfectly honest with you. Nothing that I've, nothing major that I've really come across yet, anyways. All the health items are, you know, very well placed and well timed. Uh, all the bonuses are pretty well hidden, but not like, oops, 
that was a dumb. Yeah, I shouldn't done. I shouldn't. I shouldn't have done. Did that. That was a bad idea. Now I think though. Yay. I think I can go off screen and actually get the uh, tentacle to respawn though. Yeah, the bubbles don't. But I think we can just skip. Bye. 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 Nope. 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 Mhm. Mm well then. And we're back. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of cuts in these episodes. So the trick here is to jump on the bubbles first and then use the tentacles to actually get back up. Now the sad part is, I'm not gonna get that la that other bag, that third one. <sighs> really? Really, Shovel Knight? Oh jeez. Oh god. Oh. My heart. It pains. <laughs> okay, we're back in the room before the bonus. I died again on the way. I think I, I'm actually going to show that, if I remember. So, we don't have to go back here because we've already got the chest. It doesn't respawn. And screw that room! It is... Mm, I believe I have died more than enough for one episode. I say as I continuously get hit in the face. Alright, let's see if we can time this right. There we go. I promise you, like, this game is difficult. It's not as bad as I'm making it seem, though. That's pure John talent right there. Making it seem way harder than it actually is. I can promise you that. Because... Mmm. Mmm. Ugh, seriously. Also, did I screw this up? No, I didn't screw this up. I thought I screwed that up. I don't know why I thought I screwed that up. But I did. Alright. Now, friggin', let's see if we can actually get through the rest of this friggin' level without being... Oh, well, mm-hmm. You can't even finish the sentence, can you, John? You just can't have it. You just can't let yourself have it. Uh, hopefully I'll be warmed up, because this, this is the first episode of this recording session, so hopefully I'll be a little bit more warmed up in the uh, later episodes and not have to worry so much about this. You come here. I need you, Mr. Blue Chip. No! No! I don't want the fishy fish. I don't want the fishy fish. Uh, the good thing about this, actually, is that it's relatively easy. All you gotta do is just keep bouncing on the blue chest here, and uh, hit the fish whenever they come up, and you'll pretty much survive. <laughs> Until that happens! Until that happens! You know, I'm not the best video gamer in the world. Uh, and screw the, that goal down there, that just ain't happening. I'm not the best player in the world, I know that. Truly, I do. Uh, however, I don't thought I sucked this much. And you heard, you heard what I said. <sighs> okay, you know what actually would come in handy at this point? The phase locket. As much as I kind of hate this I item because of that. <sighs> Stop using the friggin- Okay, screw the phase locket. I thought it was going to be useful for that moment, but since friggin' Jimmy McJim Jim here, by which I mean the controller, I guess I wasn't very specific by calling my source of irritation Jimmy McJim Jim. How did I land it on, on top of it didn't hit me? Mm -hmm. This is not, I, I want to, if this game didn't, I want, can you cut auto save off on this? Because if it didn't auto save, I would probably just go back and restart this entire episode. Eels alive, I, uh, this thing gonna be sick. Well, don't you puke on me and just sell me whatever you got to sell. Friggin' anchor. Anchors away! Thank you, you jerk. Now stop with the shut, sh shut up with your face hole, Chester. I don't, I don't need it. I don't need your sass or anything else you have to offer at this moment because I already bought everything you had to offer. So I need you to just take your, your mouth, close it, and go away. I don't know why I'm, I'm continuously talking to a character that's not even on screen anymore. See, that, that, that one was my own fault. I rushed ahead, and I got hit by it like that. I get that. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. But everything else, I'm just going to blame on the LP curse. Uh, nope. Mm hmm I think I may have screwed myself over again. So, I mean, that's good. I'm, I'm sure you guys are very excited about that, uh, because everybody loves it when I fail miserably. I, I, just, I don't even know how to do anymore. <laughs> I truly, truly don't know what I'm even doing with my life at this point. At the very least, we've gotten all the music sheets in this level, I, I believe. So, I mean... At least there's that. Nothing else. I should not. I just screwed myself over again. You think I would learn after a while? But you'd be wrong. 
Maybe I can still make that, though. I think I may be able to make that jump. Let's find out after we get the fish. This, this is totally... Fish, come, please come fish. Fish, thank you. I would have been greatly upset if I missed fish. Yay, I didn't screw up as bad as I thought I did after all. That's actually... That makes me slightly hopeful. Oh, and the tentacle respawned. It's just a joyous day for everyone involved. I don't even know. Any more guys? No! No! I don't even know. <laughs> I, I knew I wasn't the best this game, but I really don't suck this bad. Like, I promise, I'm, I'm not just that awful. But maybe I am. <laughs> Apparently, I can't go five feet without dying, so maybe I really do just suck. Maybe that's just a fact that I need to come to accept about myself. I have lost more money in this level than even my practice files. Like, when I'm playing blind, I did not die this much. It's redonkulous what is actually happening right now. As I was saying earlier, though, back on track, you can kind of see right there what I was talking about about them teaching you the like mechanics of the game uh, before you come across them in the wild, as it showed, so, so to speak. Uh, oops. Oops. Okay, jeez. I got scared for a second, I'm not gonna lie. This room is a very good example of that because it makes you climb the room by using these platforms, and then you climb the ladder and see them right here. And you know that they go, so it's it's very well uh, designed, actually, in my opinion. I quite enjoy that fact! Fall all the way to the right. Mm -hmm. La 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 la. I'm just gonna spend the rest of the episode singing. Because at this point, I feel like that would be more productive. And probably funnier. Because I can't sing. Some, they can actually be kind of hard to time. Alright. We're, we're progressing, if nothing else, at the very least. Uh, here we have Mr. Purple Man here again, uh, who can be pretty difficult. But don't use the... F oh. I hate life and everything about it. Get your butt over here so I can... I, can, I don't even have the magic to use the freaking anchors anymore. I don't have the magic to use the freaking anchors anymore. Get over here so I can kill you. Ugh. I apologize for my outburst. <laughs> I just want this to be done with now. I have screwed this episode up so much that I don't even know how to do anymore. At the very least, we're, we are getting relatively close to the end here, so... There's that. I mean, we have that to look forward to. At least, let's get the friggin' save point. I, w I want the save point. Please, give me the save point. Can can I have save point, please? Thank you. Thank you very much. Hmm. <laughs> I hope you guys are having a good day. I do. Because I'm not. <laughs> And I think that's pretty obvious at this point, but I just, I hope that your day is going better than mine with my maximum failitude. This dude is getting on my nerves so bad, I want him to die and never come back. <laughs> I want you to just die. Sorry, my nose is. Cut that out, John. Uh, I don't have any healing, do I? No. Hmm. Don't. <sighs> you know what? Sure. Whatever. Xbox controller. You want to do like that? And for those of you wondering, oh, don't do it, don't do it! Oh, thank God. For those of you wondering, I do want to get a PS3 controller at some point in time, uh, for this very reason. No, I died! The world hates me. That is truly the only conclusion that I can have at this point. Stop with the- oh my- you- you there! You there! You're screwing up the bonuses, and that does not make me a happy person. Alright? Now, Stop with your moving so I can get up here. Can I even get up here anymore? Can I even- Did you actually screw me out of this with your stupid anchors? Die! Die a million deaths. I've screwed up. Okay, there's a bonus up there. And I'm gonna have to come all the way freaking back here. You know what? I'm just gonna die. I'll see you guys in a second. Okay. Anchor dude, you just- You need- you stay away from me, sir. I don't need you. Actually, I, I need you. You you need to die. Actually, you know what? Boom, ba boom, 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 boom. I don't care. I don't even care if you hit me with a stupid anchor. I ran out of magic. Well, that's a problem. Okay. You just. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, start playing smart, John. Play smart, not dumb. So that you can not die and not regret life immensely for your unbelievable lack of skill. Ugh. I'm so, like, irritated at this point in this recording session, I literally have to step away from the mic for a second to breathe. And no, that's not a Chocolate Rain reference. Also, there's chicken in the wall there, so that's good. That's a literal thing I have to do. I have lost thousands of dollars to this level because of dumb, stupid, stupid things like this dude. Just go away. Go away. Go. Die. I hate you. I want you to know how much I hate you. Because you've cost me money! You've cost me so much money. Ugh. I wanna be done. <laughs> I'm half an hour into this recording session. Well, on this one episode, by the way. Half an hour into the recording session, and I just wanna stop. But I can't because I'm actually several days behind in my schedule. So, in order to stay ahead and make sure I get videos out when they're supposed to come out, I gotta keep on. I gotta keep on keeping on, cause ain't nobody gonna do it for me. Ain't nobody gonna do it for the job. I don't even wanna talk anymore. <laughs> this legitimately put me in a bad mood. Oh, thank God. I think this is a lot, yeah. We should be coming up on the boss. Finally. Ugh. On the bright side, I don't remember this boss being super difficult. My gems, my vessel, my ocean, your very precious tarnishes. You are to you are to yeah you are to lay claim to the sea itself. Your greed knows no bounds, treasure knight. Your hands are no less dirty. I don't know why I'm giving him that voice. I don't even care anymore. Let us duel, winner take all. Yeah, we'll we'll duel. I'm gonna duel your idiot face upside your idiot head. <laughs> uh, you know what? That that insult sounded better. Uh, outside of or inside of my brain than outside. On the bright side, however, uh, the that's what I wanted to do. Yeah, if you can if you can actually get like caught between him and the wall, it makes like short short work of him. Oh wait, it's treasure chest! Oh gosh, don't take my money. I need my money. You've already taken so much money from me. Actually, I wonder if that's like why this level is designed. Yeah, he's actually pretty easy. I wonder if that's why this level is designed like it is to take money because he is treasure knight. I finished this level with less money than I started the episode with. I want that to be a way- I want that to- I want to point that out. Ha! Huh. Just... I'm gonna take a breather between this and the next episode. And just calm myself down. And cut the fan on, because I'm burning up too. Alright. Today's day of the question. Uh, ukulele. That's not me doing a mat impression. That's literally the question. There's a uh, the ukulele game is coming out, and I want to know what you guys think about it. Are you excited? Are you you know banjo kazooie fans and you're just super excited that it's happening? Let me know in the comments and talk. Yeah, that. As always, like if you like, leave a comment. Tell me what I did right, what I did wrong, and please share with friends. Thank you guys. I'll see you guys next time.